Hi, I'm Andrew Pshochnik, and if you've seen any of my videos, you'll know that I generally prefer to stick to traditional turning tools. But currently there seems to be a lot of interest in carbide tools, so I thought I'd have a look at them and see what the difference is between them and traditional tools and how they work. Turning tools generally fall into two main categories. You've got cutting tools and scraping tools. These carbide cutters or carbide tools are scrapers. A carbide tool has a steel shaft, but it has this little cutter which can be replaced. So all you need to do, if it gets blunt, you take one of these little keys and you can firstly just loosen the nut or the bolt and rotate the blade to an area that's sharper. Once the tip is blunt all round, you just unscrew it and take a new one and replace it. So you've always got a sharp tip. So all that time you spend sharpening the tools is not needed anymore. If you've had a look at carbide tools, you'll find that they can be quite expensive. But if you want to look at a more affordable option, there are these two kits available from Torcata. So what do you get in this kit? Well, the two kits are virtually the same. The difference is the sizes. You've got four tips. You have these square tips, which are just nice and square all round. Then you've got a similar one, which is a slight radius on each of the four edges. You have a round one, and you have this pointed one, which is used for doing detail work. The difference between the two kits, these cutters are 15 mil diameter, and these ones are 11 mil and they have a slightly shorter handle. The difference between a gouge and a carbide tool is that with a gouge, you tend to present the tool on an upward angle and an angle across the wood. Whereas with a carbide tool, the first thing you need to do is to pull the tool rest back a bit further than you normally would, simply to accommodate for the cutaway section underneath. Then hold it parallel to the ground and just gently present it to the wood and let the tool do the hard work for you. This is the 9001 tool, which is the square cutter that has a very slight radius on the tip. So this one can be used on flat surfaces without the corners digging in. Nine zero zero two is the square cutter, which has got nice sharp corners. So rather than using it on a flat surface, you would use it on the outside of a curve, or you can also use the side as well as the front to cut into corners. Or you can just turn it right around and cut V grooves. The 9003 is the round tip tool, and this can be used for the inside of bowls or it can be used to do curves, or if you want to do coves. So let's have a look at how it works. The fourth tool in this kit is the 9004, and it's what I would use as a detailing tool. If I wanted to get definition lines in places or accents, I'd be using this tool. And it's just a nice long point, so let's give it a shot. I'm certainly not gonna throw away all my traditional tools or my cutting tools, but I now know that, there, that there's a range of tools that can complement them and it's not an expensive option to go with. For more information on these Torcata carbide cutting tools, click on the links below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Andrew Protochnik, and I'll see you next time.